United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Nave Pili, has urged Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe to ensure the upcoming elections will be free and fair. It was a very important meeting with, uh, with President Mugabe, uh, where he recounted to me the uh, past history of uh, Zimbabwe and, and attributed some of the current problems to the past. And I uh, commended the president for making a call that there should be no violence in, in the future elections and urged him to continue to make such calls. Uh, and I also urged him to ensure that the future elections will be free and fair and uh, free from violence. During her five-day visit, which began on Sunday 20th May, she has met other leaders in the country, including the Prime Minister, Morgan Changirai. After a meeting with the UN Human Rights Chief, the Prime Minister noted that there are still challenges in the country. There has been progress uh, since the formation of the GNU. Uh, the incidents are still there and we are addressing them. Uh, we hope that the forthcoming election uh, will be free and fair and legitimate, uh, away from violence. Alia Pile described her meeting with the Prime Minister as candid. The Prime Minister was very firm, forthright, and uh, convinced me of his commitment towards protecting human rights. And his goal also is to have successful elections here. <laughs> she also met with civil society organizations. Zimbabwe has in the recent past been on the spotlight for human rights violations and violent elections. The international community imposed sanctions on the country in the early 2000s following reports of election rigging and suppression of the opposition. Zimbabwe is to hold elections sometimes next year.